Hey everyone, it's great to be back with you all, and I hope you had a great Easter as we celebrated our risen Savior. Jesus is alive, and that's no small thing for us. Jesus lived a perfect life, fully man and fully God, died for your sin and mine on the cross, and was raised to life. His being raised to life, the resurrection, is definitely something for us to celebrate. Without it, we have no hope. Without it, Jesus is still dead. Without it, we are lost for good. But because Jesus is alive, you and I are able to have relationship with God. Because of the resurrection, it shows Jesus' sacrifice was sufficient. Because Jesus not only died but was raised, we can have relationship with him by turning toward him and following him. I've always been captivated by the story of blind Bartimaeus at the end of Mark 10. On the outskirts of Jericho, a city known for its wealth and prosperity, sits this blind beggar. Jesus and this crowd of people are about to head to Jerusalem for Passover. And Bartimaeus hears Jesus is around and he calls out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd of people tell him to be quiet, but that doesn't stop him at all. All the more, Bartimaeus cries out to Jesus. And then Jesus stops. Jesus stops for this one guy on the side of the road. Jesus calls him, and now this crowd that told Bartimaeus to get lost is now ushering him to the Savior. Jesus asks what he wants, and Bartimaeus replies that he just wants to see. And given the faith of Bartimaeus, he recovers his sight, and Jesus tells him to go his way. But standing there, looking at the one who had changed everything for him, Bartimaeus follows Jesus. He was sitting on that roadside, blind, helpless, and begging, but Jesus stopped and that changed everything. In so many ways, this is true for us as well. People or circumstances may have gotten in the way, but we've encountered Jesus and now we have a choice. We can go back to our prior condition and hold on to those cloaks of blindness and destitution that have defined us, like Bartimaeus. Or we can leave those behind like Bartimaeus did and follow Jesus. Bartimaeus didn't understand the specifics of what was ahead for Jesus, but he trusted that Jesus was up to something and Bartimaeus' life had been changed. So I wanna ask you today, what cloaks are you continuing to go back to? What keeps you from following Jesus on the way? We were blind, but now we see. Because of Jesus, you and I can leave those cloaks where we left them, whatever that past looks like for you. And we can walk confidently wherever Jesus goes knowing that we were blind, but now only because of him, we can see. Make much of your life in him this week, and then I'll see you soon.